Now let's go to Milford where thousands gathered today for music, arts and crafts, rides for kids of all ages. But most of all, they turned out for the 30,000 oysters at the 50th annual Oyster Fest. Photojournalist Earl Glazer and Jam Jeremy Fair and I all teamed up to shell uh, to shell us <laughs> what went down. Get themselves some oysters and clams today at the Milford Oyster Festival. And it's just a good little uh, fun event. The key to it too is slicing it off the shell. It's all about the quality and not the quantity. Not everybody does it. I've been doing it since a kid. I was introduced to it at a very young age. So take your time, make sure you're doing a good job. And now I enjoy just the camaraderie with all the fellow shuckers that we have here. Got it. All righty, here you go. Thank you. Make sure it's clean. Oh, amazing. Delicious. Generally, it's good weather. The people are fantastic. Mostly the Blue Point oyster and Blue Point clams, too. So you've got farm raised oysters and clams and wild oysters and clams. A wild clam is going to have a little Blue Point in the shell here, you know? And then a farm raised clam is just generally pure white. Equally as good and uh, super duper fresh. A lot of fresh seafood there. And if you missed it, well, shucks. <laughs> the festival was one day only, but the Norwalk Oyster Festival is happening in three weeks on September 6th, 7th, and 8th.